Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about this card. This card was a $4 card when I last talked about it. And now it is a $12 card. So it has tripled in price. Uh, it was like a 4 to $5 card in trade and now it's like a $12 card TCG mids today. Uh, obviously its price might go up and down. I mean its price is not like set in stone right now because of the recent you know, ups and downs for most of these cards. Now the card is very good. Um, the card just played, when I purchased the card, it was played in Burn. Uh, Bump into Night Burn was actually the deck that it was played in. Now it's being played in Jund, and Jund looks fantastic now. I saw, uh, what's his name's uh, Jund version. Uh, he was like, I made a video about him, may possibly cheating in GP Vegas, uh, GP at Charlotte. Gosh, I forget his name again. But anyway, he was playing a deck, uh, a deck against Jund and the Black Cleef Cliffs is going to go up in price just because A, it's not been reprinted and B, honestly, if I were to be completely honest with you, it's a no-brainer. It was never um, a card that was, ne like, it's always been played. Like The card has always been played, uh, just maybe not in the amount or as public as it is now. And when you look at the card like this and you look at a four dollar price point on it and you look at how much it was played in the past you have to say to yourself interesting that is interesting now i will allude whenever i do the other lands i will allude to the fact that the blue ones sea chrome coast was a 20 dollar card at one time in standard now it's the you no know, besides copper line gourds it's the least valuable of the bunch uh, and then the dark slick shore is also not great but this one has just tremendously gone up in price, but it doesn't really compare to a card that I'm going to go over this week, which is the green white one. The green white one started at $2. What is it like six to $8 TCG mids right now? Um, and it, like, honestly, it's going to hit 10. It will hit 10. I have no doubt in my mind that uh, given the non reprintability of it, uh, why would it not? go up even more. I mean, it was available for a reprint. They passed on it. That means they probably don't consider. And when you look at $10, you look at the shock lands, you look at the fetch lands, that's a price point Wizard of the Coast is comfortable at. So a $12 fast land, I mean, that might just be what it is in the future, but it won't be like every fast land would be 12 bucks. But this one is right now. And then Razor Verge might get there eventually. So when you look at cards and you look at your collection, uh, just be careful when you're trading older cards because some of them are quite valuable and they don't initially would initially appear to be. Bye guys.